Hello and welcome back to another video on Miss Shepherd Teachers. Today we are going to be doing yet again some more maths. Whoop, whoop. Um, we today are going to be looking at 10, 100 and 1000 more and less than a number and I'm going to show you how to do it the easy way. Let's take a look. When I've been teaching, I've been noticing an awful lot that people will do. Let's say we're looking for 10 more. I've got 230 and they're asking me to find 10 more than that. I'm seeing a lot of people going, add 10 on, because I know that's 10 more. Here we go, 10 underneath, zero and zero, zero, three and one is four two and nothing is two so it will be 240. Now that took me quite a long time because I had to draw all of that out, I had to think about each one and I was looking at each column. If you're finding 10 more or 10 less than a number all you've got to do is look at the tens column. Easy peasy. 230 what I'm going to do is I'm just going to circle it and I'm going to add one onto it. I'm adding 10 on, but I add one onto that so it'll become 240. Same goes if I've got a number in my ones column. Uh, let's go for 543. If I'm doing 10 more, I'll look at my tens. I will add one to it because I'm adding a tens onto it and I will end up with 553. Keeping that ones digit there, it is not rounding. We are adding 10 onto it. Exactly the same if I was taking 10 away, if I was finding 10 less. If I had the same number 543, I would circle my tens because I'm finding 10 less and I would take one away from that, so I'd have 533. Much simpler, much easier. Same for it's 100 more. Let's get rid of those so that we've got a nice cleaner page. Let's go for 23,298, for example. It's asking you to find 10 more and, uh, 10 more, 100 more, and 100 less. So here I'm going to put 100 more, and over here I'm going to do 100 less. Circle my 100, and I'm just gonna add one on and take one away from it. So I would end up with 23,398. I've changed it by adding one. Now I'm not gonna change this three, I'm gonna change my original number to take 100 less off, otherwise I'll add, uh, end up with the same number. So I would have 23,000 take away from this number, 198. Fairly simple. If they're asking you to do it, let's say this number, let's do a similar number, 23,098, 100 more, and 100 less. 100 or more, easy peasy. Circle that number, add one onto it, 23,198. Now taking it away is where it becomes a little bit more tricky. If you know your maths, all you need to do Let's go to the next one. You take one away from that one, so I'd have 22,000, and that one becomes a nine, and then the others stay the same. Because what you've done is you've just counted down. If I counted 100 less, which will take me a while, but if I did physically count 100 less, that would end up being the number. It's exactly the same as if you're doing it with the thousands. Let's use exactly the same number. 23,098. This time I'm doing 1,000 more and 1,000 less. 
circle the thousands, add one on if we're doing more, so it would be 24,098. A thousand less would be 22,098. Notice I haven't put a nine in that one. That's because I'm not taking anything away from that. All I'm doing is taking it away from the thousands and because it was three, I didn't need to change any of those other numbers. That's the only one that I need to change. Okay, that was a quick sum up of 10, 100, 1,000 more or less. If you have any topics you'd like me to cover in any other videos, don't forget you can leave a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.